Who says you have to go all the way to Indiana to get Liquid Springs installed or serviced on your RV? Hey everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And if you've seen us before, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. Susan and I make tons of videos all about RVing and we invite you to subscribe to our channel and remember to hit the notification bell when you do so you'll be notified every single week when Susan and I put out a brand new video. But today and this entire week, we are getting Liquid Springs installed on our RV. Now, if you're wondering if Liquid Springs are worth the money and they really improve your rig, I think the results that are out there really speak for themselves. Anywhere you search on the internet about Liquid Springs, you're gonna to find tons and tons of happy owners who are glad they had Liquid Springs installed on their RV, and we're looking forward to it as well. You know, we have a Thor Challenger, which is built on a Ford F53 chassis. And I have to be honest, it's a pretty bumpy ride going down the road. And that's because it's built on a truck chassis. So the RV bounces quite a bit. There's a lot of squeaking and a lot of noise. And, and then of course, we get some rolling while we're doing turns and we get a little bit of porpoising. while we're rolling down the road as well. So the reason we're having Liquid Springs installed is so that we have much better drivability and we also wanna make sure that we don't get blown around by the wind while we're driving down the road and when 18 wheelers come passing us, we feel that wind and it actually blows us out of our lane. Every time we hit a big bump in the road or you get to where a bridge begins or ends on the highway, we hit pretty hard and bounce on those types of situations too. And so Liquid Springs will put an end to all of that and give us a much smoother and a much more comfortable ride while we're heading down the road. So without any further ado, let's meet up with Wayne Wells and chat a little bit about Liquid Springs. So here we are with Wayne Wells from Liquid Spring, who's gonna tell us all about Liquid Spring and where you can get it installed and all that good stuff. So thanks being, for being oh, with us today. Perfect. We really appreciate it. No, we love it. So I'm Wayne Wells. I am the National RV Sales Manager for Liquid Spring. And what we're here to talk to you about today is one, they're getting a beautiful front and rear suspension put on their 2021 Thor Challenger. So it is the new uh, V8 uh, engine. Um, it's got the F53 chassis in there for those of you that are interested. Correct. And what we're really wanting to talk about today is our dealer network for installing product. We have networks all around the country that do installs for us. And just to kind of give everybody a sense of peace with that, if we have them on our website as a installer, an installing dealer, we have either had them at our facility to train them or we have had one of our techs at their shop to train them. So we're pretty confident that anybody we send you to will know how to do the suspension install and won't have any issues with uh, how it's going on and those types of things. And that's one thing with our suspension, we wanna make sure it's installed right the first time so you don't have issues with it. Our suspension for the RV market is relatively bulletproof. I mean, our big markets, uh, ambulance and transit bus. The duty cycle is much higher than it is on a motor home. So we really have very little issues with the RV suspensions. I've, I searched everywhere that I could online, you know, uh, liquid spring reviews, liquid spring complaints. Uh, I searched all the forums and everybody I found that has liquid springs installed absolutely loves it. And the only time I see anybody that's sort of I don't know, downplays Liquid Springs, they don't have it on their coach. So they're just saying, well... It's really expensive. It's really expensive. That's, I mean, that, and that is, we get, we get that a lot. That, that is the normal thing we get is if somebody has something negative to say about our product, they don't have it on their vehicle. Yeah. So, and they, what they do is they try other methods of getting a smooth ride, such as adding sway bars, changing out their shocks, maybe adding the Safety Plus to do, you know, to get some better steering. And so, and I've talked to people that have done the same thing. So you spend anywhere around five or six grand yep. trying to get this nice smooth ride and it just doesn't happen. Yeah, you, you, 
it definitely will make the vehicle handle a it'll, little better. It'll handle better. But you, you actually, as you start increasing roll stiffness and those types of things, you lose ride quality. So it's going to ride worse, not better. Yeah. And that's, that's truly the beauty of our suspension. Because we're using a compressible liquid, you can very rapidly control how much of that liquid is available to compress. So when you're going straight down the road, it's a smooth, compliant ride. When, when a, an event happens, when trucks pass you, whatever it is, it's capable of ramping that spring rate up in 40 milliseconds. So it's very fast. And for those folks that are worried about price, I know one of the things that we looked at when we were considering buying our rig, because ours is a class A gasser rig. And right. so class A gassers are known for not having that great drivability, right? But if you buy a diesel, you get a much beefier, better suspension because you get the air suspension when you have a diesel engine. And so one of the thoughts we had was, well, we know diesel class A's are better than gassers. There's just no argument about that. They are. What we don't know is, are they a hundred to $150,000 better than a gasser? Our, our opinion is for us, that wasn't the case because we fell in love with the floor plan and the floor plan in here is perfect for me and Susan, but it's a gas model. So we thought, well, we'll spend a lot less on a gasser and then we can buy some upgrades to get the great ride that everybody wants to have in their RV. And so now we're having liquid spring installed to get there. But that's, that's really the big argument that we see. So what's the difference though between like an airbag and this system? So, so an air ride suspension does, is gonna give you a smooth compliant ride. The, the negative to the air suspension is it is what it is. It's, it's one spring rate. It doesn't have any control over what's going on as you're going down the road. It's just giving you that ride. So you'll get more body roll out of it and whatnot, but that's the beauty of our suspension. It's a smart suspension. Again, we're sensing speed, steering, braking, and ride height, and that's what's telling our system what to do, and it does it for you. Right. It's as close to active suspension as you can get without sensing the road in front of you. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. It is. And the it's, computer goes super fast. Yeah, it's 40 milliseconds. So I mean, it can it's, calculate. It's, so as you're going down the road, you'll feel the coach, like when you go through into a corner, you'll feel the coach go whoop and then stop and come back up, not... Right, you don't get, yes. That's, that's the thing that our suspension does really well is control all the body motion. It's consuming that energy rather than passing it up into the coat. Now, how many, um, how many dealerships or garages across the country would you say now are able to install and or service liquid spray. Well, service, any any shop can service our suspension. Oh, okay, it's, all right. Once it's on there, it's, it'd be about like your leveling jacks. Okay. It's just a system that somebody has to have some sort of understanding of how hydraulics work. But okay. We have a tech line. There's somebody always answering the phone. Any shop, anywhere can go in and they can, if you're having an issue, they can help diagnose. Okay. Now, installing's a little bit different because it's a job. I mean, it's- Oh, it's, it's amazing. Your coach <laughs> has been here at, we're at Joe Sam's and it's been here for five days. Yep. Well, four days now. Four days. And he's pretty much wrapping it up. That's, yeah. I mean, and that's what it takes. We tell people 40 hours minimum. Yeah. And that's what it's gonna take, but we probably have 10 right now. Okay. And that's one thing we're growing. Okay. We're growing that, that side of the business, the, the outside installs. Awesome. And that's one of the things we're that, and that's kind of why we're doing what we're doing is we want to, we want to try to help get people comfortable with going to dealers. And again, if they're on our website and we're recommending them, they have been factory trained and we have 100% confidence in them. Now, if you guys have ever been to an RV show, either in Tampa or Hershey, and I'm sure you've been to others all over the country, um, you might have seen Wayne, because you're I think you're at every RV show. I, you're I, at every one we've ever I, been well, to. Well, <laughs> I go to the big ones. I try to go to all the big ones, the yeah. FMCAs, the Hershey, the Tampa, yep. and, and we will always have a test drive coach if we're at a show. Great, and so, that's what I wanted to bring up, that if you want to try it out for yourself, and you're at an RV show and Liquid Springs there, you can certainly chat with Wayne and get into one of the test rigs and drive it around. Yep. Uh, the other big question that, that uh, people ask about Liquid Springs is how much does it cost? So can you just give some rough ranges for people? Rough numbers. Yep. If you do rear only, it's gonna be somewhere around 14,000. Okay. If you do front and rear, it's gonna be somewhere around 24,000. Okay. And that's on an F53. Okay. And the other question I wanted to ask is how much 
weight does Liquid Spring add to your coach? Your coach, yep. it's going to add approximately 550 pounds. Okay. All right. Now we'll be testing our rig because we're going to drive it from here in Florida all the way across I-10 through the Florida Panhandle. We're heading out to Texas and at the end of this video we're going to be giving our assessment of that long drive across the very bumpy uh, highway system which I-10 is awful. I-10 is pretty, pretty <laughs> impressive. Going across whatever that bridge is through yeah, Louisiana yeah, is it's pretty quite tough. impressive. So we're going to give it a workout and then uh, we'll let everybody know how we do on that long ride but I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. So uh, thanks again Wayne we really appreciate you, you being bet. here. Thank you very much. And then we're going to talk to Barry, who owns the garage where we're having our liquid springs installed, so you can learn more about what to do to prepare when, it's, when you're going to get the work done. So, so here we are with Barry Hampton, who is the manager of Joe Sam's down here in Orlando, Florida. And it's Joe Sam's Truck and Alignment, right? You guys are famous for doing alignments. Yep, yep we sure are. So where uh, where did the name Joe Sams come from? It's such an unusual name, I had to yep, ask. Yep, yep. Jonas Samuelson is the inventor of the equipment that we use, and he is from Sweden. He died a couple of years ago, and uh, that's where the name comes from, is Jonas Samuelson. And he used to own this facility? or Yep, yep, he sure did. He started it in 91 in Orlando. We were the first training center in North America. And now you guys do all kinds of heavy truck repairs, uh, specialty with suspensions and, yep, yep. and alignments. We, and all we that. like to be specialized in uh, chassis work, uh, frames, suspension, and uh, some brake work. It's pretty cool too, because outside there are gigantic fire trucks and trucks of every shape and size. And of course, RVs all in the parking lot that you guys yeah. are working on. So they handle all kinds of heavy commercial trucks that have to deal with every day, eight hour a day use with heavy loads and all that stuff. So working on RVs, uh, probably a little easier for you guys, I would guess. It is, yeah. but, but you have to make sure you're very clean with the RVs. Right? That's very yeah, true. Yeah, a little, little different than the trucks. But, and, I, uh, and I will say you guys have done a great job of that because I went in our RV, they've had it for five days now and it's as clean as a whistle in there. Can't even tell anybody's been in it. Yeah. So fantastic job on that. Now, how long have you guys been installing uh, liquid springs here? Probably five years. Okay, yeah. all right. And how many installations a year do you guys do, would you yeah. say? Last year we did 43 units. Okay, good. So you're almost units. doing one a week. Yeah, pretty close. And so you guys are, uh, according to Wayne, when I talked to him, you know, the premier location outside of Indiana mm -hmm. to, to get your liquid springs installed. And that's, we're super happy to be here because you guys have a lot of experience with installing it. Yeah. Um, and I also want to point out that, you know, uh, while we were talking about having our rig serviced here and all, you brought up some really great points about some extra things that we should consider while we had our rig in here as well. And that's a really big benefit of having Liquid Springs installed at a truck center somewhere other than where Liquid Springs installs up in Indiana. So one of the things we talked about was getting a really good front end alignment done. Mm -hmm. And so that happens after the Liquid Springs are installed, right? That's probably the last that's, thing that happens. That's the last thing we do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And how does that help out and why do you think it's so important to do that after you install your liquid springs? Well, we just want to make sure that all the axles are square um, with one another, um, that the vehicle drives straight and the steering wheel is centered. Now, another recommendation you made was for us to go ahead and add the Safety Plus mm -hmm. to our rig as well. Mm -hmm. And that's fantastic because we could just get it all done here at the same time. It doesn't yeah. involve an extra trip and all that. Right. Um, so why is uh, the Safety Plus so important to add onto a rig? It, it gives you added stability in the steering and, uh, you know, crosswinds it helps with and uh, returnability of the steering wheel. Okay, so when you're recovering from a turn, it yeah. can help out with that More situation. More positive, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've also heard it's good if you have, if you, God forbid, you have a tire blowout, mm -hmm. it can help you keep your, your wheel straight. Right. So all those good benefits really, really add up. Yeah, yeah. So now when we were getting ready to bring our rig in here, I had a bunch of questions for Barry, like, 
well, we have a refrigerator and freezer full of food. Like, do, what do we do? Do we need to like give it all away? Can you keep us plugged in for the week? And uh, luckily, you guys were able to keep our rig plugged in for the whole week that it's been here. Right. And uh, I did a little test because I'm super paranoid about food poisoning. It's you know, and so I got a couple of ice cubes, put them into a little sandwich baggie to separate them from the rest of the ice tray. Just left them on a on a shelf in the freezer and they didn't melt one iota for the whole week. Good. So you guys did a great job Good. keeping us plugged in. No, no power outages. <laughs> yeah, so we did fine. Uh, all of our food and everything stayed cold the whole entire time. How many of the F-53 chassis are you guys working on? Because most people we talk to, that seems to be, a lot of people have that chassis. Yeah. And it's a pretty rough riding chassis yeah, as well. Yeah, well, it, it's, a, it's a popular chassis. For sure. One, one of the most popular, so. Um, with that being said, it's probably in the upper 90% of the chassis that we do. Yeah, so you do a bunch of those. We do a lot. Which of is them. another great reason why we wanted to come here too, because yeah. we know you have, you, we know you work on a lot of those. Yeah. Well, I have to say, it's been a fantastic experience. Everyone here has been great to work with. Good. From Good. you to to Angel to Brian, who has been working on our rig all week. Everyone's been fully accessible. Uh, every time we come out, everyone takes some time, talks to us, shows us what's going on. Brian's been fantastic. Oh, yeah. And he's your main installer. Yes, he is. So we really appreciate it. And I certainly appreciate you being in our video today. Sure, thanks. And uh, if you guys are in Florida and you're thinking about adding Li Liquid Springs, Joe Sam's is absolutely the place that you want to use. And we've been 100% satisfied all the way through. So we can highly recommend this place. And, uh, but like we talked about before, there are a lot of places all around the country where you can have Liquid Springs installed in service now. Mm -hmm. And you guys service them here too, yeah, right? Yeah. So if somebody comes in with a problem, yep. you got them we covered. look into it, yeah. So anyway, thanks a bunch, Barry. We really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thank you. And uh, off we go this afternoon with our new Liquid Springs. Can't wait to drive it. Yeah, right. <laughs> we ready? Ready. Let's go. Go. So drive it. Drive it. You don't have to. You don't have to baby it like you did before. That's it. That's it. That's awesome. That's that's all you're gonna get. Because normally we'd be like like on a yeah. boat. <laughs> yeah, that that really is. That's all you're gonna get right there. Oh, we got some railroad tracks to go over too. That'll be good. And and drive it like you would your car. Just go over. Just go over. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. That is amazing. That was so smooth. If we had done that before, it would have been like, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> rocking all around. Man, this thing is unbelievable. It even corners really tight. And you're in, you I'm are in, in normal mode. I'm not even in sport mode. Yeah, and that, again, that's shift on the fly. Anytime you want to push it, reach over and push it. Oh yeah, this is much nicer. A little bump, straighten, it just, as soon as it bends, as soon as it, leans over to the side it just straightens right up it's awesome Okay, so we traveled a little over 1,100 miles from Orlando to just outside Dallas, Texas. Yep. But before we share with you our experience with Liquid Spring, just wanted to uh, let you know that we first heard of Liquid Spring back in 2019 yep. when we went to our first RV show in Hershey as RV Blogger. Yeah, we had 99 subscribers <laughs> at the time. And we met Wayne Wells there and did an interview with him at that time. We weren't in the market for Liquid Spring yet, but that was when they became on our radar and we have followed them. We've uh, read reviews and our friends MJ and Izzy from Endless RVing have Liquid Spring. So we have been pretty knowledge of the product for over four years now. Yeah, we've really learned about a lot about it over the years and you know, we're very, very slow to try new things. We like to see how other people do with them first mm -hmm. and if it really works out. And I tell you, every single thing that we've heard and read and talked with other people about has been very, very positive. So right. here we are 1100 miles later with Liquid Springs installed. And I've got to say, it has been a real game changer. Absolutely. I mean, it is unbelievable. Uh, it went from driving an RV 
to feeling like we're driving an SUV, mm -hmm. literally. I'm not mm -hmm. joking about that. We cross over bumps in the road. We've driven over railroad track crossings. Mm -hmm. We drove all the way across I-10 uh, through Florida and Louisiana, which is a horrible road, by the way. <laughs> very, very bouncy because you're on a bridge the whole time. Mm -hmm. Every bridge we've ever gone over uh, has been uh, a just a smooth. big bang yeah, right. when you hit it. And now it's just a smooth It's transition. just like driving right. over it in your and car. And watching him drive, I can see how much more comfortable he is, more relaxed, yeah. you know. But you look like you're in comfort mode. Before it was a little white knuckle, a little tense, you know. A lot. And um, so I can definitely tell. And I have not driven it, so I don't really have the experience that you do. But my experience is I'm not hearing things banging down the road. Yeah. You know, there's not a lot of rattling of dishes or appliances. Yep. Um, and it's, you know, because that was me. I was the one, you know, jerking my head back to see if something broke or fell off the wall. And so from my experience, it's a smooth, peaceful ride. Yeah, it's really, really been terrific. So yeah. thanks to everybody at Liquid Springs. We really appreciate you guys installing it on our rig we are mm -hmm. totally totally enjoying it we are positive that if you're driving around out there uh in a gas or especially on a f53 frame you would really enjoy having liquid in liquid springs installed on your rv as well we'll put links in the notes down below but you know how to get a hold of them just go to their website or call right. them up mm -hmm. and they are more than happy to talk with you and help you out um, but all in all it has been a huge huge improvement right and the same goes with joe sam like yeah they just made us feel comfortable we were welcome to come by anytime yep. ask questions you know it was just a great experience being yeah. able to go there versus you know forced to going to indiana yeah and the other nice thing about joe sam's was uh that we were able to get the safety right. plus installed Anyway, we sure are glad you joined us for the video. If you want to learn about some other upgrades that we've done to our Class A RV, just click the box down below. And Susan and I will see you in the next video.